Hello everyone. In the previous module, we have seen how to clone a repository. Now, in this module, we will learn how to create a branch, how to manage a branch, or how to switch from one branch to another branch by using git we will see in this module. All right, let me switch to Airpods Studio. If you see in our previous module, we have cloned the repository and we can see the work, look, work copy that is Amir UiPath repo. Now we are in the branch of master branch. Now what we have to do, we have to create a new branch. Let us assume in the real time scenario, what will happen based on the agile methodology, you will create a branch for your, from your master branch, you will create a child branch based on your requirement. Let us assume if I'm working for September month, I will create a branch from my master branch and then I will work on that branch. Okay, all right. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to create a new branch. We can create a branch from the GitHub directly. Okay, now I'm in the github.com. In the previous session, we have seen how to create a repository, right? I have created the repository with the UI path. Click on that. Now over here, you can see under the coding session that you are having the branch. But when I drop down this branch, I can see there's already a branch with the name of October 2020, as well as the master branch. Now, from if you see, this is the marked as take nothing but right now we are in the master branch. All right. Now, how can I create a branch from this master branch? Simply, you will find over here, right? Find or create a branch. Over here, I'm just going to give it as, let us assume I'm going to create a branch on September 2020. Okay, now that the name is not exist, so that what will happen, you can create that branch on that name. Just I'm going to click on create branch. Now, what happened, if you see over here, when I drop down, this September branch has been created from the master branch. Okay, all right. Now, if you, we have seen how to create a branch from here. Now, let me go back to my UiPath Studio. And if you see over here, I don't have that branch. How can I get that branch over here? Just right click on the project and then pull to rebase. Click on that. So what it will do, it will fetch all the information related to the branches as well as the related, the project related information, all it will get over there. Now, let me go back to my master branch over here and then I'm going to click on that. Now you can see from the origin slash September 20, the branch which just now I have created, right? That is the branch which it will show you over here. All right. This is how we are going to be get the branches. Till now, we have seen how to create a branch. Now, we will see how to manage a branch. So where we can find all the branches? On the right hand side corner of the UiPath Studio, you will find all the branches. Just click on the drop down. You can find all the branches, right? Now there is an option called manage branches. Click on that. Now you can see over here, all the branches, whatever you have in the GitHub repository, you will find all the branches like origin master, origin October 2020. This is nothing but remote repositories. And you can see over here, origin September 2020, this is all the things have been created. Now, let's assume someone is working on October 2020 and you want to get the update from the particular branch so that you will select that branch and then you will click on update over there so that you will get all the updates related to that branch. Just now, I don't have any changes over here so that I won't get any changes over here when I click on update. Now, what I'm going to do, Whenever you want to get a latest update over there, and then if you want to get the updates by clicking on manage branch, you can get all the latest information related to that branch or the latest bots, you will get it over there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm click on save. This is how we are going to be managing the branch. Now we'll talk about the switching the branches. Switching the branches is nothing but, I will give you a small example. Okay, let us assume you are having the master branch. On that branch, you have created multiple branches, like as I have shown you, October 2020 you have created, as well as September 2020 you have created. Now, let us assume, you know, I was working on the master branch, 
and then I want to switch from one branch to another branch. The reason is that there may be some bugs there in the previous branches. At that time, I want to move from one branch to another branch to work on that one. In that case, how can I go ahead and switch it out? Just over here on the right hand side of the corner, you will find all the branches, select that. And then simply you will go ahead and you can select the branch over there which you want to work it up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that branch. Let us assume I'm going to work on September 2020. I'm going to select that branch over here. Now the entire uh, project information will move to one branch to another branch automatically. And you can see right now I'm in the September branch. Okay, now I will make you a small example over here to make you understand. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a file over here, adding another sequence over here. I'm just going to add a new sequence. And then I'm going to give it the sequence as September sequence. And then I'm going to click on create. Now if you see, the sequence has been created and you can see on your project that you will find it out September T sequence, September sequence has been created. All right. Now, what are the changes you have made it? You have made the changes and then I'm going to commit the changes. Don't worry about this commit. I will let you know later on. Okay. I have committed the changes. I will just using the commit. Okay. I will say September sequence and then I will click on commit. Okay. Now, whatever the changes are there in the September branch, okay, I have committed the changes. Now, once again, I'm going to uh, switch the branch from September 2022 master branch by clicking on the branches. I'm selecting master branch, and then you can see that September related, September sequence with the name of September sequence is not available because of whatever the work it is, uh, you know, it is applicable only to the particular branch and then the changes will not affect to the another branches okay whenever you are switching from one branch to another branch okay for that you need to merge the changes if you want to apply uh, you know the changes there you will do merging the changes or pull the changes from one branch to another branch you, we have to do that all right i hope you understand how to create a branch which is not possible right now in the UiPath studio but we can create the branch directly from the github.com and then we have seen how to manage the branches to get the latest updates from the particular branch and also we have seen how to switch between the branches to work on the particular branch i hope you understand about the branches in the UiPath studio which is the integrated with git Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.